A bill in the Capitol is looking to crack down on political deep fakes. They're digitally altered images, videos, and audio that can make it look like a candidate is saying or doing something they never did. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris live in our Capitol newsroom. So, Theodora, what are they trying to do about this? Brandon, I spoke to the lawmaker sponsoring the bill. He worries these deep, deep fakes could be used to spread false information and have neg negative consequences for voters who are going to be heading to the polls in the coming days and in November to cast their ballots. In an election year, voters see all kinds of information about candidates and issues they'll be voting for on the ballot. But some of that information isn't always true and could even be a political deepfake. The AI generated material is often indistinguishable from reality, where maybe several years ago, if you saw a video or saw an image that was meant to portray a candidate, you can kind of tell most people would be able to say, I know that's fake or that's photoshopped. Some voters in New Hampshire experienced it firsthand. People received a robocall from President Joe Biden, discouraging them from heading to the polls to cast their ballot. Except he never actually said that. Artificial intelligence was used to make it sound like his voice. The messages really matter, right? People are using information we see on the internet, we hear from our friends and family to make a really important decision or lots of important political decisions in November. State Representative Abdel Nasser Rashid is pushing for a bill to stop people from distributing or working with someone else to knowingly distribute deceptive political media, including the intent to harm a candidate's electoral chances and to influence voting behavior. It can do very serious damage to the integrity of our elections because people will believe it to be true when it is not. The First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution protects political speech and political advertising. Experts say finding a balance between regulations and allowing the free flow of political information can be a challenge. We don't want to have a chilling effect, right, by regulating too much. But here we are in a different time with a different technology, right? And um, I firmly believe that disclosure is good, right? It's like we need to know the source of the message. We need to know who sent it and why. 